My name is Colin Mockett and among other things I'm a writer, historian and actor. Back in 2015, I received an email from Frank de Groot, who was and still is the Deputy CEO of Geelong Cemetery Trust. It turned out that Frank had a vision for a very different style of cemetery tour and he'd been given my name as a person who may help him achieve it. His plan was to use actors in costumes to play the cemetery's residents, not just as tour guides, but also to enable the tour groups to meet the residents in person, standing by their graves to tell their life stories. It was a way to hear personally from some of Geelong's famous or interesting ancestors. After several very fruitful meetings at the cemetery and months of research, we came up with a two-hour tour of the Eastern Cemetery that was led by me playing Captain Foster Fiennes, time taking up to 25 tourists at a time to visit some 20 significant graves of which nine had revived residents explaining their stories. These were played by some of our region's best and most accomplished actors, chosen to look and sound like their characters and dressed in immaculate, authentic costumes. If more than 25 people booked, we would run two tours at the same time, taking the same route, but the one going clockwise and the other going anti-clockwise. The second tour was led by James Harrison, played by Brian Eaton, who was at that time the president of Geelong Rep. And when two groups were close to meeting in the centre of the tour, the guides would switch to address the other group so that every tourist would meet every resident. Cut to today, five years after that original tour, and we've taken more than 3,000 people around Geelong's graveyards, and we have five very different tours in three local cemeteries, using a repertory company of fine actors. The format today now takes place over five consecutive weekends, with the first tour an all-female event called Meet Geelong's female founders. This is at the Eastern Cemetery and the groups are led by Mrs. Elizabeth Austin and Mayor Zilla Crawcore. Tourists meet in person the early squatter Caroline Newcomb, the tragic Eliza Batman, medical pioneer Dr. Mary DeGarris and trailblazing novelist Ellen Davitt. The second weekend is called History Alive, Geelong's West Cemetery Tour. This is led by the designer of the Ute, Lou Bant with the uh, Scottish benefactor Alexander Miller. You'll meet in person the triumphal heiress Fanny Clee, the much-loved first female MP Fanny Brownbill, the millionairess Lilia Strawn and Geelong College's founder George Morrison. The third weekend is back at Eastern Cemetery to meet Geelong's prominent pioneers. This tour is led by Geelong founder Captain Foster Fiennes with refrigeration inventor James Harrison. You'll personally meet Corio Villa's builder, Alfred Douglas, the early administrator, William Weir, the pioneer innkeeper and educator, Mrs. Frances Ormond, and our botanic gardens curator, Daniel Bunce. Our fourth weekend is a History Alive Queenscliff Cemetery tour. This one is led by the seaman and hotelier, James Bailey. You can meet the man who saved more human lives than any other in Victoria, Dr. John Birrell, the first Queenscliff postmistress, Anna Maria Dodd, the first mayor, Dr. David Williams, and tragic young Elizabeth Jones, and Australia's leading suffragette, Mrs. Henrietta Dugdale. And the final weekend is back to Eastern Cemetery to meet Geelong's champions of sport, industry and culture. This tour is led by two names that everybody in Geelong knows, Charles Brownlow and Godfrey Hurst. And you meet Geelong's visionary Howard Hitchcock, cricket champion Bransby Cooper, the world's finest actor in Francis Nesbitt, and record-breaking churchman, the Reverend Andrew Love. All of the tours last around 90 minutes. They're only held in the good weather, that's summer or autumn, and the price is extremely reasonable at $17. You can book only online through Geelong Cemetery's Trust. Thinking back when Frank first contacted me back in 2015, I expected to be staging maybe two or three tours. But now I find we have a regular tourism fixture for two months of each year. COVID permitting, with satisfied customers numbered in their thousands. And I have a Geelong reputation as the bloke who can bring back ancestors from the dead.